What's up, people? Smitty, at the shop. Man, is it cold this morning. It's about five degrees, I think, outside. Uh, we had a nor'easter blow through yesterday. Anyway, it's a good day to hunker down in the shop. Uh, it's a good day for a radiator repair, since that's going to require some flame and some heat. Uh, this happens to be the radiator out of my John Deere skid steer, which I'm doing the motor swap on. A bunch of videos on uh, the channel about that. This is an old school radiator, brass tanks, etc. Like you'd find in an old hot rod, you know, an older car. Um, in this case, we got a, a real solid core on it. Both tanks are in good shape, but we've got uh, both upper mounts have come disconnected from the upper tank. So what we're going to be doing is uh, going to clean this sucker up, um, reattach these by soldering them with a torch, and uh, then we'll paint it up and make it look like brand new. Finally, the heat came on. Uh, so if this is something you're interested in, just uh, stay tuned. I'll show you how it's done. First step is going to be to just clean these mating surfaces up. I'm going to clean the, the mating surface on the tank and then the mating surface on the uh, brackets, obviously. In this case, I'm just using a, a little Dremel tool with a flapper disc on it. You can use sandpaper if you want to do it by hand, uh, wire wheel, wire brush, etc., etc. The, the key is to get it super clean, though. All right, so we've got our tank and our brackets all cleaned up with a wire brush and the Dremel. Uh, and now I have just slathered it in flux. And I'm going to lightly heat both of them. And this is really just a cleaning process for me. There's old solder on there. There's also some dirt. So that flux is going to help clean that surface up. Uh, just using a, a burns matic propane torch. We're going to lightly heat those surfaces up. And you've got to be careful because all of these seams in here and how it connects to the core uh, is, is all held together by solder. So you don't want to overheat these areas. So right now we're just heating to clean is what we're doing here. Uh, in terms of solder and flux, uh, you want to lean towards plumbing type stuff. Acid core, I, I would prefer. I just happen to have whatever I typically use for plumbing here. I didn't run out and get anything special. Uh, I would not recommend using stuff that's geared towards electrical uh, soldering like wiring and stuff like that so uh, uh, while it may work I can't say definitively again uh, go to Lowe's go to the plumbing section get yourself some acid uh, acid flux a acid uh, based uh, solder that that's that's how I've always done it but again like I said I just have some plumbing solder here uh, and that's what we're gonna be using All right, so as I'm heating up that uh, first layer of flux just to clean the tank, um, I should mention that just as that old solder starts to flow, I like to take a, a very clean, dry cloth and just wipe it across there. It just removes some of that solder and gives you a nice flat surface to work with. And it's basically almost like tinning a wire. You've got a thin surface for that uh, to work with that, uh, that new solder that's gonna be going in there. All right, next step, we're gonna flux it again. I'm gonna strap these, uh, the two brackets up against the tanks and then we're gonna get the soldering. All right, well, I've got both brackets positioned where I want them, as best as can be. And now we're gonna work on heating up that area and getting that solder to get sucked in there.
that little piece of solder in there, when I see that start getting drawn in, which it is right now, now I'm gonna come back around with the, with the solder and start allowing that to flow in there. And I'll start seeing it come out, those two holes. And I'll know I'm getting some flow underneath that bracket, which is what we want. Pretty decent flow there. What I want to do next, I'm not real thrilled because I have a pretty good gap on that bracket, but it just wouldn't sit flush on the radiator. So, let's see if I can just get a little bit of gap filler in there. Just going to go back over with a little bit of flux. Dry cloth again. That's it for that side. We're going to hit this side next and see if we get the same results. And there's what you're left with. Uh, this is that solder I was referring to, you know, is, is letting it flow from the outside until it comes through these holes if you're dealing with a bracket, you know, like this. Uh, that'll about do it. We're going to hit it with some heat paint and then we'll get her back in the skid steer and get that thing back together. That's it for now. I'm Smitty, and I'm out.